Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this fine spring day. At least it's fine where I am, but we are here for the season one finale of X-Men 97. And when I think about how anxious I was going into this after having binged the original series, it's, it's so beyond what I wanted and what I hoped for to the moon and beyond, beyond. And a large part of that, besides the show itself, is all y'alls. Everybody who's been so excited and minds blown and just willing to share information, sometimes too much information. But I was out last night at an event meeting a bunch of strangers and somebody was talking about television shows from the kids and then, you know, watching things now. And somebody mentioned X-Men 97. And all of us who have been watching it all of a sudden went, oh, yes, absolutely. And we were all so excited. And that's my favorite part about good content, good shows, good movies, when everybody just hears the title and it goes, oh, yes. But here we are. It's the finale. What are we going to get? Huh, huh. Jean has been evaporated? I don't know. Is she going to come back, Phoenix? I feel a Phoenix reemergence is upon us. And then we have Logan and Amanium ripped from And Magneto, is he mortally wounded or just wounded? I don't know, but I'm excited to get to it. And of course, we have to finish this out with the X-Men 97 drinking game, if you are playing along. Best thing about this drinking game for me was that I had picked all of the tropes that were, in my opinion, overused in the original series. Have we had each of those tropes throughout this, this series? Yes, but not to the extent that they were in the first, the first go around. So because of that, when I've seen them, it's more to me like an Easter egg than an overuse of the trope. But here we go. If you're playing along, if you're not, top three. Anytime our gang walks into a trap. That's number one. Number two, anytime, oh, Charles, Charles, you slay me. Somebody's version of talking the villain down is just to scream at them, listen to me. And then of course, number three, my favorite relationship reveal are those secret babies. <laughs> and of course, I do have the fourth one this came up last week. I've got my water ready. Anytime there is a sobering moment, we're gonna get a little bit sober. I doubt we'll see any of those tropes in this last episode, but who knows? It's been a surprise so far. So I'm ready to get to it and I know you are as well. So we're gonna get under the cozy blanket cause it's the basement. It's still chilly. I have all the beverages with me. I have all of you. You're gonna remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon and we're gonna get to it. Boy. So a lot of y'alls were on the same page that they sent the wrong people to the wrong parts of the world to take down the wrong person. It was, it was doomed to failure. We got a phoenix. God, you're suicidal or sentimental maybe. Though either will kill you. Ah, was this the fateful, fateful day at the bar when Charles delivered his vision of the future. I'm trying to read and listen at the same time and talk. Be mindful not to sound like you actually are a mutant. What if I were? Run and hide before someone starts dreaming of camps. Hmm. Hmm. Why are they wearing lab coats? I'm a mutant. Telepathy. Mind reader. Likely can control them too. Oh, don't, 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 don't admit that part. Alas, my new friend, in my experience, minds are far harder to bend than metal. That is true. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Welcome to your mind, Magnus. Oh, this is where, this is where, okay. Always defend our genetic inferiors. Do you yearn for Bastion's bastard cyborgs to resume their pogrom against our species? Oh, well, that is very specific wording there. 
Restore Earth's power or I will hijack your mind and force you to do so. That doesn't sound like a choice, Charles. Psychic penetration risks leaving both our minds shattered. I have a question. We'll see if I can remember it. Then forgive me, Magnus. <laughs> Samurai, you're just standing there watching what's happening. It doesn't seem like he was doing much. <gasps> oh! Poetic, isn't it? The inevitability of my vision. <gasps> Professor Xavier must pave the path to my dream in order to honor his own. A dream as crippled as its dreamer, oh. built to die. Oh. See me. The future tide. <gasps> oh. In the name of peace, tolerance, and equal opportunity suicide. When did he grow his beard like that? Did I miss that earlier? I'm distracted, yes. Yet another reason why Operation Zero Tolerance must skip to final phase. That does not sound good. And Forge survived the plane crash. Yay. People are good. Thus, to protect humanity, I must protect humanity from itself. <gasps> Tolerance is extinction. Oh, God, everybody. Okay, too many, too many to marvel over. Okay, that was not planned. <laughs> the clone was... How many times did you fail to stop me? Oh. Fail to save your carbon copy mothers. Two hundred. Two hundred times. No. And how's your mommy, Sebastian? <gasps> Except what it's been saying. Jean Grey, Madeline Pryor, never Phoenix. Just dead. Again. Like you. Oh, they're gonna take him out? You promised this pup is my prize, Bastion. An example must be made. Cable will stop at nothing to undo the one true future. But he is as blind as his deadbeat dad and as doomed as it. <gasps> Maybe you two should have listened to what Time's got to say about my mom. And Cable called Jean his mom. Ooh! The Prime Sentinels were never your family. They did not choose to become slaves to hate. <gasps> Are they going to turn back to people and just fall from the sky? Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> Do you think Peacock can make you whole again? If so truly, you did not think at all. Sinister, all I do is think. I bet she does. All this mutant DNA you stole to stay duct taped together, young. She gotta take it back. The phoenix burns away the obsolete. <gasps> Please, no! Why should she stop? You're a terrible person. <gasps> wow. Wow. Show me my face. Oh! Looks the same to me. The phoenix force is gone now. Why? But I could feel it deep inside, pulling me back to protect my son. Oh. Oh, and he's smiling. Okay. Oh, maybe you should have kept the phoenix around longer there, Jean. But now, you're... 
How does he still have power? How does he still have power? How does he still have power? I killed Jin in 4,621 seconds. Oh, that's rather specific. How does she still have power? How did his powers grow? Power goes on and these two go lights out. Why ain't they waking up? <laughs> Think about it, Rogue. Are you all right? Who's Magnus? <gasps> Who are you? Oh! <gasps> I'm a teacher. Good news is their pulses are steady. So is Wolverine. For now. So where is the antimantium go? It, is it just hovering in the air? Did it fall to the ground? Where is it? Bastion's inbound to you. He intends to bring asteroid M down on Earth. Forge and Beast are working on getting us up there, but he's more than flesh or metal. Bastion is the future incarnate. How, I ask again, how? We both know how this will go for me. Like, I just learned my powers yesterday. So, well, you know. I'm sorry I attacked you. Odds may be bad, but the cards are always in the X-Men's favor. I don't know about that. His name was Gamble. <gasps> Remember it! Remember it! Yeah, Rogue's got fury on her side. Total vengeance. Wait, where'd she throw him? Are they still on the asteroid? Are they in Genosha? Which would be a very handy place to land. Don't let him get up. Don't let him get up! Just kick him in the nuts, Rogue. Kick him in the nuts, if he has any. The name Sunspot. Definitely got more players. Oh. Is on fire. Leaders are working fast to avert this mutant doomsday. Vote yes, and you best pray our children read their textbooks more than their Bibles. For only history could be conned into forgiving us. Sir, King T'Chaka is right. We know next to nothing about Asteroid M. This could do more harm than good. <laughs> they have a whole protocol just for Magneto. Of course they would. all these years I have these waters too and while the tide of our past can drag us under it also carries us to others who are fighting their own current <gasps> oh they put Wanda and Pietro on that bo boat too <gasps> oh where are you going to take him Kurt Oh, Jubilee, I don't think your fireworks are going to do much. It's just a distraction. You'll never hurt my family again! Okay, Scott. I don't think that's the end of it, though. He seems to have unlimited powers, which is how do you feed unlimited powers? Game over, I still don't think that's the end of it. I love how her glasses are broken. Yeah, that's not the end of it. Ugh. You call yourselves a team? A family? Behold. My family. Jeez. Wait, did it just squish him? 
Go down. What y'all waiting for? Hank, jump. You all the rest. Go. Stand down, team. We can't give up. Why are we standing down? We're gonna do what we've been telling humanity to do for years. Stop fighting the future. And embrace it. I know how it feels to have the things you trusted, the future you were building, crash down on you. You're not alone. <laughs> this is what she was protecting me from. I massacre you freaks and you're recruiting me? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Humanity is going extinct. No, they're having babies. There's just one pickle, dear. Miss Lillard, Miss Lillard. Humanity would rather die than have kids like us. That seems to be true. And they sent nuclear weapons. Protocols. <laughs> he already knew what it was. Bastion! Grab on! <laughs> He'll grab on, all right. Well, yeah, that's still going to fall. Are they thinking that's going to burn up in Earth's atmosphere? You know what I mean, you sciencey people. <gasps> Are there other means to restore asteroid M's orbit? Theoretically, yes. Perhaps if everyone on the jet. <laughs> I'll stay back and try well, to that's it. handy that the jet's still in one piece. <laughs> What you would do. It's what Die. Done. Yeah, it's what you've done. Die multiple times, Jean. Oh, she's that wait, 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 wait. Cooper, is that her name? Why is she there? No, that could fry the jet. How will you get back? Storm. How will Storm get back? She can fly, dude. <laughs> Nathan. Aren't you sappy lovebirds supposed to be saving the world? Oh, kind of are. We're saying goodbye. Nathan, I always swore I'd never repeat my father's mistake. The mistake I made when Madeline sent you into the future. Not saying goodbye. That sort of ending, huh? I'm afraid so. Those rebel leaders I told you about in the future, rambling about the adventures of the X-Men, getting folks inspired. It pissed me the hell off. I belonged in those stories, too, growing up, fighting alongside... You were. Those legends really didn't do my folks justice. The day you were born, your mother told me you had my eyes. Oh, jeez. I love you, son. Okay, Jean, it's time. Let's go. World leaders have been hoping for the best, but we regret to inform you that the missile strike to intercept the asteroid has failed. <laughs> the object is said to be several cubic miles in size. Okay, I got another question. Okay. She can't say it, but I can. I love you, Logan. Stay with me. Oh, more of you are assuming. Probably correctly. But, uh, wow. The X-Men and I may not resemble each other, but we are still family. We had a dream. <laughs> a dream that made us a family. Any family worth having is worth fighting for. You are Eric Magnus Lenscher, but the man you wished to glimpse as a child, who you were meant to be. Chose another name. Remember what he was meant to do. Oh, 
Oh, crap apples. Okay. Yes, dude. Now, shouldn't this pulsing yellow light give you some pause as to what exactly is happening? <gasps> Did they all get free first? Creed. Howdy. <gasps> Where you been, sir? Where have you been? Oh, we're friends, Daniel. Just not yet. Searching for mutants to carry on the torch. I looked for nuts. I couldn't find a trace of them or the damn asteroid. She. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, this ain't our first time at the X-Men are dead rodeo. But it's less a question about where, and more, when. Something, or someone, yanked our friends through time. And now, we gotta go rescue the X-Men. And we got Colossus in the background I saw there. Kurt? Hank? Oh! No! Okay, at least she's not alone. Neither of them are alone. That's at least good. We are not in Kansas. Oh no! The future? Scott, over here. <gasps> okay, okay. <gasps> we have no quarrel with you. You're a long way from Crest Coast, Sapien Cast. You may call me Mother Ascani, leader of Clan Ascani. I know this means something, I don't know what it means. Nathan. <gasps> Come. What? 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 My name is En Sabanur. And I know that means something, but I don't know what yet. Oh dear. <laughs> so much pain, my children. We knew he had to make an appearance. Is that the only one? Okay, so this is definitely an episode that I will probably watch multiple times beyond the multiple times I already planned to because I have questions. Question, oh my gosh, I had the questions and I pointed out what was the questions. Okay, so I lost mist. Why did the collar, which ended up being a crown, why didn't it work on Bastion? Was it just not, it, constructed in a way that was beneficial? How was he able to grow even more powerful? And why were his powers so powerful? Why was he so powerful? I thought his power was he could talk to machinery, whatnot. It seemed way more than that. Another question, okay, so, okay. So Magneto has asteroid and boom, boom, boom shuts down the magnetism of earth earth is quickly dying so his plan is to have earth die and if earth dies he's up on this asteroid with him and three four other people how long can they sustain life what's the plan <laughs> look at this plan with four people not even four people. He initially had three people, him, Rogue, and, and Roberto. They were just gonna float up in an asteroid. Until they die? What was the plan? 
<laughs> and then down on Earth, asteroids float around. Magneto protocol, I guess, was to bomb the crap out of the asteroid and hoping that it destroys the asteroid, breaks it up. So when it falls, eventually, all right, just have, so, okay. So it breaks up and it's high enough in space that it breaks up, that it just floats. They were hoping it was high enough in space because obviously it was, it was big enough and close enough to earth that it did not burn up and break up upon impact. So it was either hope that it, <laughs> or knowing they were shooting it out of the sky and destroying themselves in the process. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? And I didn't do it during, but as I was listening, I'm like this Scotch, Scots, huh, that's 14. Scots speech to Bastion kind of sounded one great big long, listen to me to stop doing what it is that you're doing. And so for that, sir, <laughs> Bastion, a man who flat out murdered bajillions and you're gonna embrace him like a brother? How was your plan, Scott? <laughs> and then Gene, Phoenix, badass. Where did Sinister go? <laughs> did he fly away? Did he fly away? I don't remember. But you take out Sinister from the equation, Bastion is coming all powerful. And now the phoenix leaves you? Okay, yeah. So those are my top questions. From first viewing, my brain is going. So because of that, this episode, not quite a disappointment, but definitely leaves me with the brinky frowny face. It wasn't as smooth-ish as the other episodes. Did I have a good time? Yes? Did I have a good time? <laughs> I have to think. Did I have, I did not have as good of a time as I did previously. Did we have some fun moments? Yes. The cameos, <laughs> off the chart. Are they fun? To a point, which also makes me wonder. There, we saw so many of them. Why aren't they up helping with the asteroid? <laughs> Those who could, those who could, those who could, why were, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. The scene with Jean and Scott saying goodbye to Cable as parents go, and yeah, we're gonna try to save the world and we probably won't survive. Love you, kid. I mean, that was great, but just the, huh, huh, destroy the world, it's not destroy the world. We're fighting each other, we're fighting each other when they should be fighting Bastion. That's the part that's leaving me wanting. What did I have a good time with? All y'alls. All you alls have made this great series. Overall, it's been fantastic. Just this last episode. Eh. But overall, fun series. And then all of y'alls have made it just even much more fun. And that's why I'm excited for a season two. Although where we go to season two, <laughs> looks like everybody's in the future. And we got a young Nathan. We got a young Nathan. And he's going to meet his parents. And why? It's convenient that each group has their own psychic <laughs> to communicate with and how they got split up and what that means. And I know there's people that we saw that our name's supposed to mean, <laughs> not to me, but I'll find out from you all who they are. Anywho, yes, I'm excited for a season two, especially if we are all doing this together. So I'm gonna be curious as to what you thought about this season finale. Did it live up to your expectations? Did it fall short? Is it what you wanted to see? What did you not see that you wanted to see? At this moment, Gambit's still dead. Gambit's still dead. A lot of people are still dead. We haven't gone back and cleaned up messes. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, so tell me, tell me what you thought about this season finale and what you're looking forward to seeing in season two. Until then, please do not be a stranger. There's lots more shows coming down the way. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. That way you know what comes up next. And as always,
take care of yourselves. If you haven't, this is your reminder to breathe, stretch, maybe go eat something, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.